Namaste and welcome to React Beds. In this episode, we are going to talk about how we can prepare our Flutter app for mobile web and desktop ready. Let us get started. First, Flutter has gone beyond to support web, gone beyond mobile to support web and desktop applications. So first, let us talk about mobile that is iOS and Android. So talking about Android, you can pretty much get away with anything. So the platform standards for Android to publish your app in Play Store, there are no specific design guidelines. However, we need to keep in mind that users in Android have lots of different choices, lots of alternatives in every category. So if you do not provide beautiful UI and user experience, your app is bound to fail. So you need to keep that in mind. Talking about iOS, so we don't have to always use the Cupertino app or Cupertino widgets. We can still use material widgets in the iOS platform. However, you need to go through the design guidelines of iOS app store so that your app doesn't get rejected. Even the back navigation arrow is important. So my app once got rejected because I used Android's back arrow for back navigation instead of the iOS back arrow. So that can happen to you. So go through the design guidelines properly. And next thing, if you are using social sign-in like Google or Facebook in iOS, you must integrate Apple sign-in option. It is not required in Android, but to publish your app in App Store, you must integrate Apple sign-in option as well. Web. So for web, you need to understand that it is still in beta, but even in beta, it has a progressive web app support. It supports progressive web apps. Performance is still an issue. So it is not recommended for production, but you can make your apps ready so that later when it is production ready, when Flutter apps, Flutter web is production ready, you can easily deploy your applications without many changes. And more and more plugins are adding web support nowadays. So you can expect more in the future days. Talking about desktop, that is Mac, Windows and Linux, still it is in early alpha stage. And Mac OS, I believe has the more plugin support than other platform like Linux and Windows, but they are getting there. And you need to stick to more actively maintained plugins in each category so that whenever the new platform support is released in Flutter, those active plugins are the ones to add the new platform support. And they are already adding some of the active plugins and official plugins are already adding support for desktop as well. And responsiveness, talking about responsiveness, when you go to multi-platform, there are lots of screen sizes. When you go to desktop and web, the screen sizes are even larger and larger. So we need to work on responsiveness. And responsiveness is not only the layout adaptation to the screen sizes. It also refers to the performance and say image sizes or any other assets that you use that also has to be optimized for each platform. And even your logic and native look and feel has to be responsive or has to be up to the mark of the native platform. So wherever possible, keep the native feel of the application. Finally, some coding tips for making your app platform ready. So break down widgets as much as it seems logical so that whenever you re make an app for new platform or add support for new platform, you can use the same widgets only switching the layouts in the different platform. And write your native code or write native code only when it is absolutely necessary and there aren't any plugins actively maintained in the community already that support the functionality that you require. And finally, inbuilt functions like uh, media query, 
might be enough for responsiveness or layout switching based on different screen sizes. However, using the packages like Responsive Builder and Responsive Framework makes it fun and easy to maintain so that you can build your application for multiple platforms. Thank you everyone. This is all about Flutter and making your app ready for multiple platforms from the beginning. And right now, if you want to try out Flutter Wave, you need to switch to Flutter Beta Channel. And if you want to try out Flutter Desktop, you need to switch to Dev Channel or Master Channel. Thank you.